Hey, you guys. I hope everyone is doing well on this beautiful Wednesday. I've been following this Usher story for a couple of days now. It's comical and embarrassing at the same time. So just in case you don't live on the internet like a lot of us, you might not know what's going on. So a quick summary. It was revealed that a couple of years ago, Usher paid out a million dollar suit to a young lady for giving her herpes. Since that was revealed, three more people have came out stating that he had sex with them without informing them of his status. The last update I heard, there was three people tested for herpes. One was positive and one was a man. Now the recent face of all of this controversy is Quantasia. She stated that while at one of Usher's concerts, while she was backstage, one of his security guards picked her out stating that Usher was interested in her. She stated later that night, he called her, asked her what hotel she was staying at. He came over, they talked, and then they engaged in sexual contact. And here's a little bit of the press conference. I'll be right back so we can chit chat about this. I had a child a year ago and I knew I was negative, but I contacted Lisa Bloom to find out what my rights are as a woman. Although I am negative, I was upset by the reports because I would have never consented if I would have known. I would not have taken the risk of getting an incurable disease. My health is very important to me, especially now that I am a mother. I feel that my rights were violated. I'm speaking out today on behalf of myself and others, some of whom are positive and are embarrassed to speak out publicly. I am doing this so that he does not do this to anyone else. Usher, if you are negative, please say so. If you are positive, you need to warn your sex partners so that they can make their own informed decisions. Thank you. Thank you, Quantasia. So my personal opinion, I think Quantasia is not being honest. I think the whole story is made up. Screw what she's saying out of her mouth. I came to that conclusion based on these two tweets alone. I, I feel like she saw a situation. She wanted her 15 minutes and she capitalized on it. Quantasia has been connected with several different celebrities, but like this story, we don't know if it's true or not. Usher has been dragged by the internet so bad, especially by black people. We can be so vicious to each other. The memes, the tweet, all of it just can be a bit much. Yes, there are a lot of scandals in other communities, Asian communities, Caucasian, Koreans. Of course, we all have scandals within our communities. I just think other communities handle scandals or things like this different. Um, you see memes and tweets and videos, but nothing like like Usher and R. Kelly and Kevin Hart and who, all of them. Um, I can recall when Charlie Sheen came out about his HIV and how he was paying millions to keep it quiet. Even with that scandal behind him, he had so much support. He was all over talk shows, holding hands, singing spirituals. I would never understand why some people attack the way that they do. Some of these entertainers go so hard at overweight people, I just would never understand it. Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club, he goes so hard about overweight people. He has no filter when it comes to overweight people. He, um, it puts you in a mindset that someone overweight has maybe broken his heart or something. He reminds you of that little kid at the playground when they have nothing else to say. They call you fat and run away. Quantasia and little Duval had a little back and forth tiff online and she let him suck her in. Now, I'm not saying that she's innocent or 
anything and I don't want to insinuate that at all. But it's not about what she's accusing him of. It's about her weight and it shouldn't be that way. Lil Duval has been a little controversial figure here recently from the conversation about transgenders on The Breakfast Club to this. I don't really know how to take him. Um, I respect everyone's opinion. We can say what we want, right? But when your opinion starts to hurt people, like sometimes we just need to fall back instead of doubling down to prove that we're tough. And I also feel that a lot of comedians hide behind the shield of I'm a comedian just to say whatever to whomever they want. So I used to love Mystical and Snoop Dogg. Call me Petty Betty, but both of them have been featured on songs that just make me cringe. I'm going to put some of the lyrics up. The one that Snoop is on, it's called You and Your Friend featuring Wiz or featuring Snoop. Also, Mystical was featured on a song called Just a Little Thick. That whole song is just wrong. Both songs just made me shake my head. They might not feel that way, but they said it. I'm tired of people thinking that overweight people are the punchline to every joke. Public opinion is everything, and I choose not to give my fat ass coins to any of these people. Sooner or later, these artists will feel the hurt in their pockets from what they say online and what they say in their music. Um, since Mystical and Snoop came out with those two songs, I haven't supported them. I don't listen to their music anymore, and I'm sure I'm not the only one so I put up some tweets so y'all can see about 1% of the things that they were saying about her just based on her appearance I have read several posts by men saying that they will believe Usher will have sex with a man before they will believe he had sex with Quantasia but why is that so unbelievable that Usher would be into a plus-size woman some regular men, in air quotations, <laughs> love plus size women. Some of them fetish, have fetishes for plus size women. So to the people that don't believe it just based on her weight, do y'all really believe that no famous women or men prefer dating plus size um, people? Yes, I'm sure there are some famous people that date plus size but it's few and far between and is hardly ever seen. I don't think just because a man or a woman is a star that takes away their preference of what they like in their mate. But them being a star does take away from their choices of who he or she can be with based on public opinion. Now that's only if they care about public opinion. I want to know what y'all think about this. At any time when Usher was single, if he would have came out as dating Quantasia, the internet would have dragged him because she doesn't meet the standard beauty. Also, what do y'all think about the fat shaming by the celebrities? Do y'all think it helps or hurt them or no effect at all? And do y'all think that public opinion has any effect on who someone's dating? So let us know below what y'all think about this Usher Madness. I posted three videos last week. If you haven't seen them, check out the description box. They will be there. Let me know if y'all like these type of videos by liking and leaving a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to get notifications of when I'll be uploading. Love you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Mwah.